Over here, you can see that I got a test space. Let's see the different ways we can navigate the document. So over here, let me just close this out so that I have more space to view uh, everything else. So I can simply use my scroll mouse button to scroll down as I would uh, see any other document. Besides that, what I can also do is I can click on this hand icon right here and then I can scroll, I can click and drag uh, the document as if I was scrolling down a page, just like this. I can also use this uh, scroll bar right over here on the side so that I can scroll down and up right here. Besides this, what you can do is you can type in the page number right here. So right now I'm on page one. If I want to view page two, I can simply press on two, press enter, and it goes on page two. If you want to zoom in and zoom out, you have this option right here. You click here, it zooms out. You click here, it zooms in. You can also type in the percentage uh, to adjust the viewing level. So let's say, for example, I want to have my document at 70%. So press enter. So that's 70%. Yeah. If I want to have it in 200%, 200, press enter. And there you go, just like that. So over here, if you want to fit everything to window, you just click on this and it fit, uh, fits everything with wise to my window. If you were to click on this, it fits the whole page in the window right here, just like that. Over here, you can see that now I can view my file in read mode. So if I were to click on this, it's on read mode now and everything gets hidden. There's no editing menu and so forth. So everything in read mode, just like this. So if I want to get back, I can also simply just close this down. So I'm going to go over here at the bottom and this will appear. So I'm just going to click on this icon right here and it goes up from read mode. There's also move page control out of toolbar that actually brings the toolbar here on the bottom. So if you don't want it on the top, you can have it on the bottom. And if you want it back at the top, you can simply click this and it goes back to the top. Here's the commenting and highlighting text options which we are going to see in further lessons. On the left side, you see the page right here. And if you were to click on this, you'll see all of the pages which are actually here. So you can click on individual pages and it'll actually show that up. You can also go over here and this is the bookmarks that you can manage if you want to add in a bookmark and attachment. So I'm going to go over here and another cool thing is that you can also do a marquee zoom in. So in order to access the marquee zoom tool, let's go to view, zoom, and here you can see that there's marquee zoom. So if I were to click on this, what I can do is I can click and drag a section of the area and it'll zoom to that area right here. If I were to hold control and then click out, it'll zoom out. Click and click out, zoom out. Click and drag in certain area, it'll zoom in. Hold control, then it into minus and it zooms out just like that. So that is how you can zoom in and zoom out by using marquee selection tool, just like this. And to go back, you can simply hold you can simply go over here and click this button, uh, this button right here, or you can hold control and zero and it'll fit everything onto pace. So I want to zoom this area. I have my marquee zoom on, so I'm just going to click and drag it and it'll zoom to that section. So these are the navigation options that are provided with uh, Acrobat DC Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.